misalignment occur in the spine? As I said earlier, there's 24 bones in your spine and 133 joints. So anytime there's constant movement throughout your life, many, many, many times, over repetitive action that you may do, that can cause misalignment. Falls obviously can cause misalignment, so if you get a fall when you're playing baseball or soccer, that can cause misalignment. You can get falls as a child, and looking back on time, even before you were even moving, you can get misaligned at childbirth. I see a lot of babies in my practice, and even they are misaligned. And just one or two degrees on your atlas being misaligned will cause your, your spine to develop in a certain way, so misalignment can even happen at birth. And then as you're developing into an adult, you can get misaligned because of those, those stressors. Um, on a more personal level, mental stress can cause you misalignment. For example, if you're angry, is you get a signal from your brain and then you'll send a signal to your adrenal glands which is above your kidney and then you'll produce adrenaline. So therefore thoughts are never localized in just one location of your body. Now if you think a certain thought every single day of your life like I can't stand my boss or I can't believe my husband said that to me. I felt so betrayed. And if you have that thought on a consistent level every single day you can misalign yourself from that. Um, drinking too much coffee can cause you misalignment. Um, drinking too much alcohol, taking too much medication, because when you're constantly being bombarded with chemical stressors in your body, that can cause misalignment. And even being sick. So when you're sick, your fever gets really high, that puts your body through a great amount of stress. So to summarize your question, what causes misalignment is pretty much Mechanical stress, mental, emotional stress, chemical stressors, and physiological stress. Pretty much any type of high stress load that will make your nervous system hyperactive.